Hi, welcome to the Oshkosh Poet Show. I'm Tom Cannon, your host. I'm the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh, and I'm here to promote poetry, teach a little bit about it, and just spark creativity. If you'd like uh, me to come speak for your organization, just email me at Oshkosh Poet Laureate at OshkoshPublicLibrary.org or go to my website, ThomasCannonAuthor.net. Today I want to speak to you actually about a technique, enjambment. Enjambment is one of the main tools that I like to use. Uh, now, what is an enjambment? It's the continuum of a sentence or a phrase from one line to the next. You stop a line in the middle and you go down to the next line uh, and it goes from there. Now, an often reason stated for this to use enjambment is to keep the reader going to the next line. And I suppose that's true, but I think that most people reading poetry are going to go to the next line anyway. But myself, and I think many poets, use this enjambment of a line to make a statement. Okay, You make a statement, it continues on to the next line, and by doing so, it focuses the reader on your words. Yes, moving to the completion of the line or the next line. But by doing that, the poet actually doubles what they're saying. You say one thing, then you add to it. You may even contradict the previous line. You're leading the reader to say into thinking one thing. You're going to say something, and then you say the opposite, or there's a twist that stops and makes them think. For this show, I want to read a poem entitled Farm Boys. The first line of my poem says, Farm Boys Fight. That tells the reader my thought. Farm boys do fight. But then the line actually continues on the next line to be counterproductive. With one phrase, I'm suggesting two different things to the reader. Both are important. The next line says, A wealth of chores split. I then use the enjambment to split the next line which is before and after school. The enjambment also drives the writer to keep going, but it's a dramatic effect. The chores are split. The reader has to read on and wonder, is it the split between siblings? No, it's before and after school. I want to imply that there's always chores waiting for them. A later statement is all in enjambment. In adolescence, we wreak lives on the love life we love. I wanted to say, of course, as teenagers, we have caused a lot of trouble in our lives. But I wanted to say more. I wanted to establish who this poem was about. Not me or you. And to be honest, I mean me and my brothers. But we, we are in this together. I wanted to identify that we wreak havoc, period. But also on life. And not only do we wreak havoc on life, it's the life we love. So here's the poem, Farm Boys. Farm boys fight to be counterproductive. They wreck stuff. A wealth of chores split before and after school. But on even on busy farms, childhood has free time. Break the branches of the windbreak. Build with the good lumber. Throw stones through the window just to see how glass shatters. You can't build a hay fort without busting bales. Impetuous at work, grinding the corners of wagons on sharp turns. Burying tractors in swampy sod, leave gates open, agitate the cows with our rushing. In adolescence, we wreak havoc on the life we love. Burn the tires off the car, ditch the farm truck, swear at mother, dad throws a socket set. We leave, and now we can't go back. Thank you for listening. Yeah.